the great thing about this book festival is that you're going to see and get to sort of meet and interact with some of the authors you already know and love. What, what, what excites me is the chance to introduce new authors to people. On Saturday, we have a program with Lisa Scottolini. This year, she's got a historical fiction. It takes place during World War II in Italy. We have a, a thriller uh, crime writer who I'm really excited about. First time at our festival for his debut novel. His name is Sean S.A. Cosby. We haven't had a lot of sci-fi at our festival. Our Katie Martin, who uh, won the biggest award in sci-fi publishing um, two years ago, um, is here for her new book. On the political side, political and history, we have Susan Page from USA Today, Karen Tumulty from the Washington Post. Uh, they both have biographies of political figures. A big name in fiction is Elizabeth McCracken. She's had a number of bestsellers. Just one of those beloved authors who's got a new book of short stories that we're really excited about. Um, Janine Cummins, who we had a big event planned for, for last year, um, which was obviously canceled because of COVID, is back this year. Um, she's in conversation with Maureen Corrigan from NPR, from um, Fresh Air with Terry Gross. An author we're really excited about is Dr. Michio Kaku, uh, who's a theoretical physicist. For anybody who likes those sort of universe, galaxy, science, about subatomic uh, atomic atoms and all that sort of stuff, He's one of those brilliant guys who's so great, he can distill it into language that even I can understand. Um, and he's got a new book ca called The God Equation, uh, sort of science, scientists search for the next unifying theory, which is gonna be an amazing talk. I'm really excited about it. We have a lot of books that are sort of focused in one way or another on racial reckoning. There's an author, it's, it's his debut novel. His name is Mateo Ascaripor. His book is called Black Buck. And his book is, a, is sort of about the modern experience of, of racism at the workplace. Um, there's a DC-based author um, named Moroa Yejide. The story takes place in, in DC, mostly in Anacostia. And you're gonna see DC presented in ways that are sort of mythological and very different and interesting, but but at the center of it, at the heart of it, is sort of the black experiences. Most of the programs themselves are pre-recorded this year. However, most of the authors will join us on the at the YouTube channel on the premiere date and time to be in the chat and to interact with our viewers. From property taxes and government changes to what happens with the purple line or how schools are talking about reopening, Subscribing to our channel is the best way to stay informed of what goes on in Montgomery County.